Welcome back, everybody. This is Red Halo here. We're playing more Kingdom Hearts. We're here on Destiny Island still. Uh, we got to go collect some provisions for our raft. Uh, I can't remember if there's fish here or the, I think it's on the other side. That's okay because we need to go on over here and collect some coconuts. And they have to be yellow coconuts. So don't pick up the crappy ones. There's one. Come on, trees. I want the coconuts. Hit the tree for once. No, don't do that. <laughs> I have to climb the tree. You could actually climb all the way up there, too. It's kind of impressive. I sure couldn't do that. Can I, like, lock on to a tree? There we go. There's our last one. Thank you. The second mushroom is behind this rock, which so happens to be placed perfectly where we need to be it, to be to get out of the way. I gotta get used to the camera. It's a li it's not the way that I was expecting it to be, but that's not a big deal. Uh, fresh water right here. You can, if you are so inclined, uh, battle Riku, do the race like as many times as you want, basically 99 times. You'll get a bunch of pretty stones and they're worth about 30 of this game's currency, which is money, but not spelled with the O, it's M-U-N-N-Y, little odd. But uh, you can do that. You can also get fresh water from here, from the water fountain, so, the water fountain, no, waterfall, sorry. Now, what are the things we need still? We need the seagull egg, which is up there. Let's go get that. Climb up here. We gotta climb this. And then you do a jump off of it and get the seagull egg, very nice. Uh, we're on this right side now, which is where all the fish are. So now we can go get some fish. There's one over there. Just pick them up out of the water. They're mine now. I saw one over here. There it is. You're way too in the shallow end, baby. Now, where's this last fish? I don't see it. It's probably over this way. Oh, there it is. Coming for you. Okay. So, now we gotta go ahead and what we could do is go in and get the mushroom. You know what? We're gonna do that. Let's go get that mushroom, which is in here. Secret place. Only I know about this place for some reason. No one else, because this is called the secret place. Look at that, there's a door, what? Let's go ahead and not pick up the mushroom. There we go. And let me pick the mushroom up there. We get a flashback where I look like, who is that? I look like Goku there. <laughs> he looks just like Goku. Look at that, that is so Goku. Let me stuff this star in your Look, face. Who's there? I've come to see the door to this world. Huh? This world has been connected. Well, what are you talking about? Tied to the darkness. 
soon to be completely eclipsed. Well, whoever you are, stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Well, where did you come from? You do not yet know what lies beyond the door. So you're from another world. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. Oh yeah? Well, you'll see. I'm gonna get out and learn what's out there. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. It is kind of odd that there's just a huge door in this cavern. Like, where does it go? It's so weird. Nothing really out of the ordinator? How, what? How do you say that? There's no he door handle, there's nothing. That's a weird door, just in a weird area. Look at all these cool drawings, like, they're all way cooler than these two crappy ones over here. Except for maybe this one, but like, all the others look way more detailed. Look at, that looks like King Mickey's palace, like, that just looks flippin' terrible. Everything else looks awesome. Look at this over here. That looks cool. Anyway, let's get out of here. For a secret place, it sure does take a while to get out. Okay, so now that we have collected everything, we could go give it all to Kairi. But what we're actually going to do is fight all the guys I was talking about earlier. So let's do Waka first. Me and Titus, we are going to do a little exploring today. You know, to the secret place at the base of that tree. See, boom, he's talking about the secret place too. Yeah. That door, we'll figure out what that does. Okay, so this is very important early on, is to take these guys out. And you can hit his balls back at him, but only once before he comes to his senses. So, and you get a tech point for doing it. So it's very helpful. You can just destroy him. Just hit him back. Come do a three hit combo. Go away. Hit it back and you're done. See, I didn't even. He didn't even really attack me. Y'all. You need to get better at Blitz Ball, buddy. So, there's that. Finished it. Let's go fight Titus. You're still no match for Riku. Well, I wish I could fight him, but now I can't. He whipped us all. Well, I guess Kairi can always count on him. It's a bit of a bummer because he gives you a flippin' high potion every time you beat him. And he's really fun. So anyway, we're gonna fight Titus. He's also pretty easy. All you do is wait for him to attack. And you have to get the timing down a little bit. And do that. And do a uh, deflect because you get two tech points for that. See, I missed it there. And then you can do a three hit there. And then you can do a three hit. It's, that, it's basically the same for all of them. Uh, Sophie's a little more difficult to get the deflect on. But you can get a good couple levels just from doing these guys a few times. Uh, but what you really want to do, and this is what I do every time I play this game, especially now because I don't know. I play normally on a normal pace, but this one I wanted to switch it up because I've played on the dawn. I've played on the the midday and I've played and dusk like eternity. a few times uh, and so I think dusk is just a better for this playthrough but early on because you get slower levels what you want to do is get to like level 9 here 
maybe eight. And the way you do that, and I'm gonna show you after we fight okay, Sophie here. And like I said, getting those tech points with her is a little more tricky. You gotta let her spin that around, and when she gets close to you, you gotta hit it back. It's, a, it's just trickier than the other one. I can see that was no good. She's like swinging a flipping rope at you, a jump rope. It's funny. I think the one that, out of the three of those guys, can do the most damage is that stick that Titus holds because, number one, he doesn't throw it at you. You just catch the jump rope. I mean, that's all you have to do. And Waka's ball, he throws it once. It, it's not going to come back to him every flipping time like it does in this game in real life. So, anyway, this is what you do, right? To get good experience early on. No, don't talk with Waka. Sorry, I was wrong. We're going to talk with Titus. And what you do is after you beat all three of them, it gives you an option to fight all of them at the same time. And you get a high potion for this. Or it's a potion, I forgot. I think it's a high potion. Anyway, you do this, and before you fight all of them at the same time, what you're gonna wanna do is maybe if it's your first time playing, Take it a little easy and attack. Yeah, see, like, this is already a little tricky. Ah, she's gonna kill me. Yep. Now you're dead, I guess. <laughs> what? I'm dead? Oh, I thought you said, I guess you're dead, I guess. Okay, so this time, I'm gonna go for Sophie first. Yeah, see, it's already tricky. Flipping crap, dude. So, you don't have to do that. I'm going to switch it up. So, I'm not going to fight all three of them just yet. Where are we at? Oh, I got to look at this real quick. Okay, so status. I'm level two. It takes five experience to get to the next one. This is an important screen to go to, by the way. It shows you all your stuff. And I do not want EXP zero on. Please do not ever put that on. Why would we want that? Anyway, I'm going to let my cat out real quick. What we're going to do is, just so that we can reliably take the three of them out, is we're going to do a little trick that I tend to do early on at Destiny Islands, which is fight Titus here, right? And all you do is ref deflect... Just do that a bunch. We're just gonna deflect. If you run away enough, he'll do a backflip. And then he gives you enough time to come back in. I don't wanna hit you there, I'm sorry. And you just do this. That's all you do. It's really tedious and boring, but you can get to level seven, level eight, level nine. You could do this forever. For all I care, I don't do this, brother. Every so often when he goes, ah, you can wait for him to come back to his senses, or you can hit him once. So anyway, I'm going to do this till I'm level 5. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. And I'll catch you guys on the other side. Okay, guys, I'm back. Oh, I beat him. I got to level five. See, we're level five. And doing it, <laughs> doing that too every so often, uh, just getting two maybe every three seconds, takes a little time, but I mean, it's nothing crazy bad. And to get to level nine, I mean, just do it a lot. And 
what we're going to do now that we're a little bit higher is try to take on all three of them again. Get one of them dead first. There we go. Okay. Now we do Waka. Don't let Tyus hit you. Don't let Tyus hit you. That's actually perfect. Because we want to take out Waka. Don't die! There we go. Perfect! Okay, we got Titus. And now what you can do is... <laughs> tech and do this. Because not only did you defeat the two and you get a high potion. I'm pretty sure it's a high potion. But... You also get a bunch of experience. We get five for being them all. You get, oh crap, I almost got right there. And uh, you can do this some more. What I tend to do is go until I level up, destroy him, and then do it again. And then get another level. Sometimes he will actually do this and he won't do a backflip and you can get like a bunch of experience in a row without him having to wait. And it's so nice. So anyway, we're going to take him out though. I got enough tech experience to show you what it looks like. And there we go. You also get two for defeating him. So you get you can get a lot of experience. Oh, it's a potion. I know it was either a high potion or a potion. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is get to level eight. So I got almost level six. So I'm going to get to level eight. And then I will see you when I'm there. I'm just going to go ahead and skip till we get there. And so I'll see you then. All right, guys. I'm here. I'm at level eight. Uh, I actually went a little bit farther than level eight. I'm about halfway through to level nine. But anyway, we got an ability here along the way. Sliding dash. Rush and strike a distant enemy. I don't remember this being in Kingdom Hearts 1. So we're going to equip it. And we'll see what it does. Uh... I really think that's a Kingdom Hearts 2 ability, which is a little surprising to me. But maybe they went and got some stuff from Kingdom Hearts 2 and put it in this. I did the 3 fight a few times, and I did Tyus a few times to get to this point. With uh, Mainly, you want to leave Titus to be the last one, so you can do the tech the, um, deflect thing. It's really what you want. Anyway... We're here. We're done with this segment. We have all the things that we need. We got the fish, we got the mushrooms, we got the fresh water, and we got the seagull egg and the coconuts. So what you can do is actually make the jump. Oh my gosh. Go ahead to the cove. We gotta go see Kyrie, who's gonna be over here on the raft. I'm not going to waste my time and your time battling, uh, doing Riku back and forth anymore. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look what it is. It's the special charm. Super important. Okay. Just found something today, too. What is it? Oh, a high potion. Sweet. Let's call it a day. Yes, let's go home. It's a big day. They're going to just leave their parents and go out to search for other worlds. You know, Riku has changed. 
What do you mean? Well... Hmm... You okay? Sora! Let's take the raft and go! Just the two of us! Yeah, let's huh? just put the leave Riku <laughs> behind. What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kairi. Maybe. Maybe. You know, I was a little afraid at first. But now I'm ready! No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. I can't wait either. I'm gonna read these out. Uh, I hate to leave you all, but I've gotta go check it out. There's someone with a key, the key to our survival. So I need you and Goofy to find him and stick with him. Got it? We need that key or we're doomed. So go to Travers Town and find Leon. He'll point you in the right direction. I need to read those out if there's no dialogue. P.S. Would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Oh, dear. What could this mean? It means... We'll just have to trust the king. Gorge, I sure hope he's all right. Gorgeous. Don't worry. We'll find the king and the king. Thank you. Both of you. can you take care of them? Of course. You be careful now, both of you. Oh. And to chronicle your travels, he will accompany you. Over here! The mostly forgotten Crick is the name. fourth member of the at your service. main party. We hope for your safe return. Please, help the king. I love this. Oh, there's so much comedy in this game, too. It's great. <laughs> ah, the music is so Gorge, good. Johnny, oh your world disappeared too. It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. Oh, right. I got you. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? There's no we gotta protect the world border. handrails or anything. Right? You fall, you're dead. Right. <laughs> That'd be scary. I don't like heights, so that guess would we'll need new duds when we get there. Huh? New duds. For the longest time, I didn't know what he was saying. Because I was really young. <laughs> this 
Poop out that gummy chef world. That castle, by the way, is massive compared to the world. I don't know how the world even... I can stay... How did they build the castle so big? Obviously, it's not really that, but... I just can't wait. It's funny. Once we set sail, it'll be great. A storm? Oh, no! The raft! There should have been a little bit more of a pause, a beat there between her saying, like, asking What's the question that? again. Sora, where are you? Riku's boat and Kairi's. They look exactly the same. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know they're one or the other? Okay, so don't even, don't even attack this because you will do no damage. And lucky there's Riku way over there. Let's go see him. Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We gotta find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through. We might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. So With epic. this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Riku. Now you can attack everything. And you should be able to, if you did a little bit of leveling up, take them out with very little effort. Plus they drop HP balls now, so if you do get hurt, like I just did, you just pick up some HP balls and you're good. That was the sliding dash. That's cool. That's definitely not Kingdom Hearts 1 ability right there. Promise you that. That's cool though. I like it. Yo. I haven't even hit someone with this ability yet. <laughs> It's nice to go after an enemy if you can actually get close to them. Take my butts. sure Kyrie's behind this. Look, it's just a door has appeared <laughs> to the secret place. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Some of the decisions just don't, don't make a whole lot of sense, but this series so can be a little confusing. Doesn't mean it's, any, it's bad though at all because this is like the best. Man, 
chance. All right, got thrown really far away. Where is he? Oh crap! That's right. Okay. Let's do it. This time is gonna be a little bit different, buddy. I hit one of those beams. I'm a lot stronger than you now, buddy. You don't have a chance. There you go, you're already done. Get out of here. I love the slow motion at the end. They didn't do that in Kingdom Hearts 2. The slow motion's cool. Oh, we kicked his butt that time. Dude, that is crazy. I never thought, what what is that? Is it all like a wormhole? I don't know what that is. Oh, look, a star is going out. Come on, let's hurry. That's terrible that a supernova that because that's what stars turn into exploding suns ah oh, traverse town i love this level so much hey you know maybe we ought to go find leon Oh, Donald, uh, you know, I bet you that, uh... Ah, when do you know your big brain old cat? Ooh, what do, do I, I know? <laughs> Come on, Pluto! Little did you know, if you had turned left, you would have found what? What is Pluto going to find? That's right, it's you! Sora. He's just here. Oh. Traverse down. Oh. What a dream. Ah, this isn't a dream. Oh, where am I? Oh, boy. Do you know where we are? Oh, hey! Okay. So this is actually a perfect place to end the episode for now. So I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Probably not because I love this way too much. I'm a fanatic. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you are enjoying this episode. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It helps me out a great deal. And as always, if you want to watch anything else on my channel, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And check out the description, which has links to the two videos you see in front of you. And so anyway, guys, this is Red Halo. Peace out.